Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is Frenchie and today we're testing FSD beta version 10.6. That's the latest version pushed to the FSD beta testers. We're here outside of Chicago and I have the release notes up here. As you can see, the main thing and the thing that everybody's been talking about uh, with 10.6 is the actual um, warning around the suspension of FSD. So basically, if you're not paying attention or if you're you know checking the screen or not looking at the road, you get some warnings and after six or seven warnings you get a one strike after three strikes you're out of the program um, so i don't know if it's out of the program entirely or up to the next version uh, that comes out but in the past when you were not paying attention you get kicked out until the next version comes out and then you basically reset the counter so um we are lucky i i looked into ours and we're fine i don't see a message under full self-driving beta Usually, if you have some strikes, it would say that um, you've had one, two, um, and then it would, um, you know, kick you out after three. So, um, so far, so good. We're going to keep doing that. Obviously, we're going to pay attention, make sure that uh, we're not getting any of those warnings. Um, I did, uh, we can take a look at the uh, the settings if you would like, but there's not much. It's it's really the same um, over and over. It's, it's nothing new. There's no new settings or anything. We are in assertive and as a reminder i put my acceleration as chill so if you see chill in the bottom left that's for the acceleration and the autopilot is on assertive um, so let's go back to the release notes same so you can see that that's the suspension that we just talked about and there is the uh, a full list of things that have been improved uh, now tesla is doing that which is great i really like that um, let's talk a little bit about the first one because uh, I don't know if people are familiar with how that is done. So it says improved object detection network architecture for non-VRU, 7% higher recall, 16% lower depth uh, error, 21% lower velocity errors for crossing vehicles. So basically what that means is there the vision only technology is getting better or more aligned with the true um, uh, sense depth um, uh, based on LiDAR. So I've captured this video of a Tesla with a LiDAR on the roof. Basic, the Tesla and Elon said that they're using that to compare with vision and make some adjustments to their model and algorithm. So if you think about how uh, the vision works and how it's estimated the distance and the velocity of objects, it has um, it needs a reference point to know if it's doing a good job or not at it. So by having that um, uh, LiDAR value, you can measure and make some tweaks to your algorithm and model. And moving forward, it will be so accurate that you won't even need the LiDAR at all. So they're using the LiDAR just for that model. And once they get it nailed down to a very good 9.99999, then you can only use vision only. So that's how they operate. And this first bullet point is basically saying, we've loaded all those values from the LiDAR, we loaded it versus the vision, and when it's getting wrong, the algorithm is gonna create a new model and re-evaluate, re re-estimate the, those, those, um, the distance and the depth and the, um, the velocity. And, and apparently they've been getting really good results by reducing some of those errors etc so overall i'm pretty excited we'll see if if how does that translate in our route here around chicago um so like i said i will be setting up a destination uh, in the gps it will be different from our standard route we wanted to mix it a little bit but we still have that road close sign which you guys i know you love so we'll do that in a few seconds and um i'll set up the camera on the roof and i'll see you um in a bit Okay, so we have the destination set up now in the GPS, and we're actually very close to this truck here, but we will engage FSD and see how that works. Uh, I might have to take over very quickly because I do not uh, want to have to damage the car. So let's see. Uh, no, no, <laughs> we're too close. So, okay, I'm going to back it up a little bit, get us out of here. Okay, let's see. We have a car coming up, so all right, so here we go. Very close, but we're good. And I'm gonna engage FSD as soon as I can because we do have the road close sign here on the right hand side. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. Road close sign on the right hand side. We do have a traffic cone. Says checking for visibility. Let's 
Okay, and okay, so it is going straight. It is rerouting just like it did with 10.5. So um, some of, some of you told told said it was fine. It was acceptable. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe um, maybe in the future versions we will be able to make that right turn. We did in the past. So. Um, Maybe that's a new um, maneuver that FSD is learning to try to reroute to make it more um, acceptable or safer for the driver. Okay, we're gonna make a left turn here. That's the reroute that we have. Okay, so here we go. Left turn here. It's very windy today. Don't think it's going to change much for the drive or for the camera. Okay, the reroute is actually very different from the initial um, route that we had, but it's not. It's fine um, because we're trying to mix things up. Um, I entered a different destination, so it should be fine. Okay, and you can see from in this road, this is Randolph Street, there's a lot of road close signs. So if we want to change things a little bit, we could also try a different road close sign. They basically block some of the side streets for um, COVID and the tents, so restaurants would have more seatings. Okay, so here we go, green light. Slowing down a little bit for this car on the right hand side, that's fine. Okay. I'd love us. Yeah, we could probably proceed here. Like, it's being very safe with that uh, ban, so I'll report that. Um, I'm, I'm getting more and more picky with FSD now. I just wanted to really drive perfectly at some point, so. I might have. I'm, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll be reporting some of those. Okay, so we're gonna come up to a left turn here. Right under the bridge. Okay, slowing down quite a lot, that's fine. We should be able to proceed. Very good, okay. It is a bit too, a little bit slow, but I don't mind. Um, you know, as we have more and more versions of FID, I might be harder on the system, but for now, this is fine. Okay, it's proceeding. Alright, we're gonna come up to a right turn at this stop here. And I noticed, so in Chicago, for people who are not familiar, oh, you're going to have to pay attention here. Are they, are they parked? Yeah, they are parked. Okay, we're going around them. Very careful, very good. Okay, very good. Um, yeah, so the uh, we do have sometimes two stop signs. So we have the one on the right-hand side, as you can see here, but there's sometimes another one on the other side, on the left-hand side. It's kind of to show you that the other cars also have a stop, but it, it was confusing FSD for a very long time until 10.5, where that um, got fixed, and basically we don't stop for the second stop sign because it's irrelevant, which is fantastic. That's really good. Okay, changing lanes, I like that. And you're gonna see a lot of new cars on the right-hand side. Hello, hello. Any new S and X? Any new X for Dirty Tesla? No? Nope. Sorry, bud. Okay, slowing down for those stops here. Very good. Okay. Hmm, uh, it's kind of our turn, but it's okay. Better be safe than sorry. Okay, let's see if the indicator will be on after 
we um, we cross the intersection? Nope, too soon. So we put it on before. I'm gonna report that. Uh, that can be misleading. Someone could think we were gonna make a right turn at the traffic light. So not the best. Alrighty, let's uh, let me take over here, and we're gonna uh, set up the next destination to shake things up a little bit. Uh, let me try the one number six. I think that's the one I want. Yeah. Okay. So, um, during the last version, 10.5, I've noticed that the speed bumps were... Sorry, so 10.4, we had the speed bump vis visualized on the screen, so you could see them. 10.5, they removed them, so you wouldn't see them on the screen anymore. Uh, the car would still react to them when it saw them and recognized them. Uh, oh, it's slowing down quite a lot. There's nobody behind us. Okay, going to report that. That was heavy braking, not sure. It was, I don't think it was needed at all. Um, so yeah, speed bumps um, got removed in 10.5. So there's a couple of them coming up and I wanna see how they look for 10.6. Oh, that road close sign is completely down. Um, all right, proceeding through this stop here. And this is the second stop I was telling you about and the car is not slowing down for it, which is brilliant. Here's the speed bump. Slowing down for it, 18, 17, yep, and yet nothing on the visualization, so. I don't think they put it back yet. Another stop here. Okay, proceeding, we have a couple of more uh, speed bumps. Again, 17, that's fine, 17, I'd like it 16, but 17 is okay. I guess. Um, it's better than 19 or 20. It used to be 19 and 20. That was really bad. Okay, proceeding here. Very good. Alright, so we're going to come up to this traffic light. And what I want to see here is will FSD get into the intersection? even if there's an oncoming cars coming. So what I'd like it to do is to proceed with caution, but at least show intent to other driver that we're gonna go. Because in the past, he used to just sit here, wait until it's clear in front of us before we can go, and that really annoyed everyone. Okay, it's green. We should be able to proceed now. Come on. Do it, being very careful. Okay, very hesitant, but it eventually did it, which is fine. So I'm gonna take over here, we're at the end of our destination, and I'm gonna set up the next one. Okay, here we go. And the next one is a bit tricky because we basically are gonna test how the rerouting would work. So I'm gonna engage as soon as we pass this couple of blocks here. Okay, I'm gonna re-engage here now. So what the GPS needs to do is reroute. Okay, make a lane change, that's fine. Okay, so now, yeah. So, it's, again, it missed that turn, right? On the right-hand side, we're supposed to turn. Um, and I'm not gonna let let it do it because there's quite some cars around us so we'll see how it's proceeding it should go straight no keep going good okay <laughs> taking over yeah it really want to make that turn okay i'm gonna take uh i'm gonna make a left turn here usually that's how it's rerouted like this and let's see if it does this one on its own yeah that's fine you can go don't slow down okay Okay, are you gonna go? Yeah, you want to do it. It's been a while. Okay. All right. Discovering new roads. Let's be careful here. That's fine. We're good. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, be careful. Yeah. It's 
good. All right. And we're going to come up to this stop, and this stop is really... You have to be very careful here. On the left-hand side, there is a very limited visibility. Like, you need to creep very cautiously. So let's see how the car does it. I'm going to be ready to take over. Okay, so I, I can barely see myself. There's a car coming. Um, I have a little bit better visibility now. There's more car coming, and there's a car coming. Yep. This uh, blue... This blue van or SUV uh, was coming when we were going to go for it. Yeah, that was um, a bit of a tricky one. So, um, yeah, here we go. I'm, I'm going to take over here and I'm not going to... Oops, I'm not going to uh, re-engage. We're going to end the video soon. But um, that was one of those um, tricky part of um, Chicago. I know this turn is very, very tricky. Uh, it's one of those that... I have tested in the past and even as a as a normal driver i would be very hesitant very careful so um it's good to see how fsd does it and obviously there's still improvements to be made here it needs it, 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 it's really blinded corner like regardless of having all the cameras and all the lighters everything you 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 want you you have to be careful or reroute as simple as that but i um um, yeah, I want to see how it, 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 it handled it and um, there's still improvements to be made. So yeah, overall pretty good. I like uh, 10.6. It's an improvement overall, um, incremental improvement for sure. It's not like a big jump. And yeah, overall uh, we're getting there. So thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks. Bye.